Hola, hola, everyone. Welcome, welcome to this week's lesson. Hola, hola. Welcome to this week's lesson on Live Life Your Way. Awesome. I hope you guys are... I'll show my face in a moment. I just wanted you to see the title so that you know what to expect today. And I'm so excited to be here. So this is part two. This is part two and I'm going to share my face now. So let me get that on. Hola, hola. Hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm so excited that you are here today. Remember to share this video and you'll get entered to win a one hour free coaching with me. And I'll be announcing the winner for October later on today. So I'm really excited for that and I'm excited to see who wins. And also, you get an opportunity to also join. So like I do every week, I'm on my computer, so you, this is a better interaction. You could see everything a little bit better than on the phone. There's less breaking up. And um, I will be looking at my phone to see the comments. Okay, so I'm just going on there, just making sure everything's okay. Hopefully, you guys can hear me, see me fine. I'm so so, 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 so excited to be here with you and ex ex sharing this beautiful tools, you know, developing your third eye and your intuition is so helpful. Okay, when you are able to develop your third eye, it allows you to um, see things a little bit more clearly. We're not just talking about visual. Hi, positive energy flow. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Love you. <laughs> So what it does when you open your third eye, it's what, you know, like intuitives, psychics, this is how they see things, you know, they see you and then they're able to see through the third eye. And this allows you to per, to see projections of the future, to also see people's energy and see, should I be interacting with this person or should I not be interacting? Should I make this decision and not make this decision? You know, my goal on showing you how to develop your third eye and get in tuned with your intuition is not so that you can be a psychic and only if you want to. Um, but my goal is to give you tools so that you can be more efficient with your decisions and you spend less time guessing and more time in the fun and the play of knowing exactly where you want to be, where you want to move forward into. And having your third eye developed helps you do that. And I'm not saying that everything's going to be easy. No, and not all decisions will be. And sometimes we do need time to reflect. But this will definitely make things a lot easier for you as you go along. So I'm really excited. So before we get on with the practice for today. So remember, this is part two. If you want to catch part one, it is on my Facebook feed. Okay, so this is a continuation. I'm going to do this for a few weeks because there's just so much of, of this of developing your third eye and everyone's different so I'm trying to give a little bit of different things to help expand your third eye so I'm going to recite the pledge right because this is a part of the pledge on live life your way and if you're just joining and you're not sure what the pledge is the pledges is live life your way and I have a statement that we repeat every single day that I repeat that you repeat every single day to keep you on track. There are key words in here that the angels have placed so that it triggers a response within you when your energy goes low and you read this and it brings you up so that you're focused on your goals, on your desires. Okay, awesome. So here we go. I pledge that from this moment on, I will do whatever it takes to be the best version of myself. I will be kind to myself. I will love myself in every state that I am in. I will invest in my personal growth and I say yes to myself and completely embody the belief that I am more than good enough to attract all good into my life. Beautiful. And I'm so, I feel so good every time that I repeat that. And this, this is amazing. So I have here my notes that I also want to walk you through. So 
what I would like us to do first is I want us to bring our attention back into our hands like we did last week. Okay, so we're just going to do this motion and what we're doing here is we're bringing in our intention okay to activate our hands because our hands have like a lot of nerve endings and it's very intuitive our hands are very very intuitive okay and it's easy for us to channel energy in this in this area okay so we're just going to go like this to build our energy build 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 our energy and you can keep your eyes open you could keep your eyes closed whatever you feel and you'll start feeling you know maybe it gets a little bit harder to rub your hands because you're starting to build this energy friction okay so now just continue to do that okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the third eye See, the way that the third eye works is that if you don't use it, it starts shutting down. So we're going to do a practice and this practice that every time you want to open and activate your third eye until it's completely open, then you don't have to do this anymore. But for the beginning, for all the beginners out there, you know, and I did this myself and there's still times that I, pra I do this practice when I feel like I'm a little disconnected, right? So I'm just building the friction in my hands. Mm. Okay, great. Now keep your hands in prayer position. Beautiful. And now we're bringing in our intention, our energy. We're just focusing on our hands, letting ourselves feel. Okay, letting ourselves feel. Now we're just going to pull out just a little bit. Right, and this is our energy. We're just pulling out just a little bit and we're feeling our energy. Okay, very, very good. Your hands could may shake, you may feel some tingling in your palms, right? Which is really, really cool. So, now what I want you to do is you're going to take your thumb, it doesn't matter which one, and you're going to place it on your third eye area. Okay, and what we're doing here is we're activating the third eye. Okay, we're activating the third eye because we had just activated our hands. So now we are transmuting that energy that we just did with our hands. It's going through our hands, through the thumb, and connecting now into the third eye. Great. And you may want to close your eyes for this, and you might feel some tingling. I could feel it tingling for myself. Okay. And taking some deep breaths in and out. In and out. One more. In and out. Beautiful. Now this is just activating your third eye. We're now just activating it. And you might feel a little tingling happening here, which is great. And just let yourself connect with that energy. Right? Let that energy transmute itself through you. Right? It's coming through your body, into your hand, up through your thumb, okay? And into your third eye to help awaken it right now. Okay? And it's important that you continue to awaken your third eye every single day until it's almost all like it's completely opened all the time and it takes time and for some people it's faster than others it all depends on your energy and how you're connecting and your belief systems your belief systems your mindset is so important when it comes to this practice when it comes to any type of practice actually but for now we're just going to practice that you believe in this third eye activation wonderful now slowly remove your thumb, right, and rest your arm, Ooh, right, you may want to shake your shoulder and just focus on this area, okay, just try your best not to get too distracted, pay attention to the sounds of my voice, okay, you may want to keep your eyes closed or close them now, okay, and just feel the third eye kind of pulsating, Okay, just allow to feel it. If you don't feel anything, put your thumb back up into the third eye area. Okay. Build that connection and then remove it and then focus back on your third eye. Beautiful. 
Wonderful. And take in deep breaths in and out. So whatever is blocking your third eye starts to release outside, outside your body. Okay, because there's also beliefs that may block us from activating our third eye. And we'll talk more about that later on. Um, but for right now, let's just continue with the process. Okay, so you want to focus on the third eye area. So now we're going to do a similar practice that we did last week with the candle, but without the candle. So now I want you to visualize with your eyes, right? Visualize a candle and the flame of the candle. I want you now to visualize the flame of that candle. Okay, visualize it in your mind's eye. Beautiful, visualize. Keep the visualization. Okay. Now once you see that candle in front of you and you see that flame, I want you now to keep your eyes staring at it. Do not blink. If you feel that you're going to blink, just close your eyes and I'll walk you through the next process. But visualize the flame candle in front of you as if it is happening. Okay, visualize that now. And stare at that flame without blinking. And once you feel like you cannot anymore, close your eyes. Okay, beautiful. Close your eyes. And now with your eyes closed, I want you to visualize that same flame with your third eye. Okay, from the third eye area, you want to visualize that flame. Keep your eyes closed. Okay, you want to visualize that flame candle. Okay, now if you close your eyes and you do not see the flame candle, take in a deep breath in, let it go. <sighs> Beautiful. And open your eyes and do the practice again. See the flame in front of you, right? See that candle, see the flame. Once you see the flame in the candle, stare at it, okay, without blinking, okay, your eyes may get watery. I do recommend not doing this with contacts. If you have glasses, that's perfectly fine. Contacts could dry your eyes out a little bit too soon that you're not able to pick up um, the, third, the flame for the third eye. Okay, great. So now stare until you can't anymore, close your eyes. Now visualize with your third eye that flame candle in front of you. Visualize that now. Okay, hold on to that vision. Hold on, hold on, hold on to that vision now. And just see it and it doesn't have to be perfect and it could also change different colors so sometimes I will see purple or see blue right the flame will change and that's okay just focus on it and if it's just a little little light that you see that's okay too remember you're working on developing your third eye okay so just focus right focus beautiful you're doing wonderful I could Feel the energy from everyone who's on right now. Okay, so now just visualize, visualize with your third eye. You are now seeing it with your third eye. Beautiful. Now I slowly want you to open your eyes. And I want you to still see that flame, but from your third eye. So your eyes are seeing the screen, right? You're seeing whatever's in front of you. But with your third eye you still see the flame even though it's not there, okay? You visualize.